late December 2019, reports emerged of a mysterious pneumonia in Wuhan, China, a city of 11 million people in the southeastern province of Hubei. Six months and more than 10 million confirmed cases later, the COVID-19 pandemic has become the worst public health crisis in a century. More than 500,000 people have died worldwide. An effective vaccine might be the only way out of the pandemic. There are currently roughly 200 in development worldwide, with around a 20 in clinical trials. The first large-scale efficacy trials to find out whether any vaccines work are set to begin in the next few months. These studies will compare rates of COVID-19 infection between people who get a vaccine and those who receive a placebo. The UK Security Minister James Brokenshaw has said Britain is more than 95% sure that Russian state-sponsored hackers targeted UK, US and Canadian organizations involved in developing a coronavirus vaccine. Brokenshaw said the National Cyber Security Center NCSC, and its counterparts in the other countries were confident Russian intelligence agencies were responsible for the attacks on drug companies and research groups. Russian scientists planning to launch coronavirus vaccine by mid-August for public use. The clinical trials were started in mid-June and the first group of 18 volunteers and the second group of 23 volunteers were injected with the first dosage of the vaccine candidate at the Gamalia Institute of Epidemiology and Microbiology. All the volunteers, who were between the age of 18 to 65, had spent 28 days in isolation, in order to prevent them from contracting other infections. They will be monitored for six months after their discharge as well. According to the head and chief researcher at Sechenov University, some of the volunteers of the study had developed minor side effects of the vaccine candidate including headache and fever. The first group of 18 volunteers were dosed with the vaccine candidate on June 18, while the other group of 20 volunteers were given the jab on June 23. According to the World Health Organization, a vaccine candidate needs to pass three phases of clinical trials successfully before getting the go-ahead for mass production for public use. I believe we are on a good track to get there reasonably soon. I already mentioned the two for advanced disease, but we really want to get stuff early. Vaccine. As you know, there are multiple candidates that are in various stages of clinical trial. One or two of them will go into phase three for efficacy literally at the end of this month. So we're pretty cautiously optimistic that at the end of the year, beginning of this coming 2021, we will have one and maybe more, I hope more than one vaccine that would be available. Oxford scientists believe they have made a breakthrough in their quest for a COVID-19 vaccine, after discovering that the jab triggers a response that may offer a double defense against the virus. In May, the pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca announced a $1.2 billion deal with the U.S. government to produce 400 million doses of the unproven coronavirus vaccine first produced in Professor Hill's Oxford lab. On June 13, AstraZeneca signed a contract with European governments to supply up to 400 million doses of the vaccine. Meanwhile, the British government has agreed to pay for up to 100 million doses, adding that 30 million may be ready for UK citizens by September. China-based pharmaceutical company Sinopharm has initiated a phase 3 clinical trial to assess its COVID-19 vaccine candidate in Abu Dhabi. The UAE's trial is the first to reach phase 3 with an inactivated vaccine, which have been used against diseases including influenza and measles for decades. The UAE will test two vaccines St. Rains and a placebo. Dr. Nawal al kabi principal investigator and chief medical officer of Sheikh Khalifa Medical City, where is taking part in the trials said volunteers would be given two doses three weeks apart. Volunteers can register on the government website for humanity.a. Canada-based Medicago develops plant-based vaccine, starts phase one trials. Recent reports said that the researchers had successfully administered the first doses of the vaccine to healthy volunteers. 
The first clinical trials of a COVID-19 vaccine developed in Australia have commenced at Royal Adelaide Hospital's Park Clinical Research Facility. Named COVAX-19, the targeted vaccine has been developed by company vaccine and researchers at Flinders University. During the first part of the trial, 40 pre-screened candidates aged between 18 and 65 will be administered with two doses of the vaccine or a placebo three weeks apart. The first made in India coronavirus vaccine may be launched by August 15, with the Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR, fast-tracking efforts to develop Covaxin in partnership with Bharat Biotech International Limited. A dozen institutes have been selected for clinical trials of the indigenous COVID-19 vaccine, the government's top medical research body has said. The institutes have been asked by the ICMR to step up clinical trials as it is a priority project monitored at the topmost level of the government. The ICMR talked about plans to launch the vaccine for public health use by August 15, Independence Day. Experts have questioned the deadline, since the clinical trial is yet to begin. Scientist is on a race to wipe out the pandemic from the world. Let's see who will win this race, 